Patty Andrews, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood, left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. What enduring qualities make her an everlasting symbol? For many, their first recognition of her came through the timeless tunes of the Andrews sisters, the iconic vocal trio she co-founded. Now, let's hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood figure? Share your stories and anecdotes in the comments below. And stay tuned because there are many funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up, so keep watching. Patty Andrews, a prominent figure in the entertainment industry, left an indelible mark on the world of music and film during her time. Born in Mound, Minnesota, she, along with her sisters Lavern and Maxine, formed the renowned Andrews Sisters Trio. The trio became a powerhouse in the 1930s and 1940s, captivating audiences with harmonious vocals and energetic performances. The youngest of the three, Patty played a pivotal role in the trio's success. Her vocal prowess and stage presence contributed significantly to their popularity. The unique style of the Andrews sisters, blending swing and boogie-woogie, resonated with audiences across the nation. During the challenging times of World War II, Patty and her sisters became iconic figures, boosting morale with uplifting songs for both civilians and military personnel. Hits like Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy and Don't Sit Under the Apple Tree became anthems of the era, showcasing her talent as a singer and entertainer. Beyond the music scene, Patty ventured into acting, showcasing her versatility. She appeared in films alongside notable stars, adding another dimension to her artistic career. Her contributions extended beyond entertainment. She became a symbol of resilience and joy during a tumultuous period in history. In celebrating Patty, we recognize her significant impact on the cultural landscape of her time. Through her music and performances, she not only entertained, but also became a source of inspiration and unity. With charisma and talent, she remains a celebrated figure in the annals of entertainment history. Throughout their illustrious career, Patty Andrews underwent a notable evolution in acting style, showcasing adaptability to changing trends. In the earlier phases, they embraced a traditional approach, emphasizing emotive expressions and dramatic gestures. As the film industry evolved, with new trends and styles emerging, a remarkable ability to adapt became evident in their roles. Transitioning from classical storytelling to more nuanced portrayals, the incorporation of subtlety into performances added authenticity. This shift aligned with the industry's move towards a more naturalistic and relatable portrayal of characters. With the advent of modern filmmaking techniques, Andrews seamlessly navigated diverse genres from classic dramas to contemporary comedies, showcasing versatility and resonating with a broad audience. This adaptability reflected not only their skill, but also demonstrated an astute understanding of the ever-changing film landscape. Furthermore, they demonstrated a willingness to collaborate with emerging directors, experimenting with different styles that showcased a commitment to staying relevant in an industry demanding constant innovation. In conclusion, Patty Andrews' evolution as an actor is a testament to their ability to navigate the dynamic film landscape, highlighting growth, adaptability to changing trends, and a deep understanding of the nuances required in portraying diverse characters. It is a journey that underscores not just their acting prowess, but also their resilience in the face of an ever-evolving craft. Born to a Greek father, Peter, and a Norwegian mother, Olga, Patty Andrews emerged as the youngest and lead blonde member of the Andrews Sisters, a renowned World War II singing trio. The trio, consisting of her and her sisters, left an indelible mark on the music scene during the wartime era. Her significant role in the group included being the lead singer in their iconic performance of Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy. This signature song was introduced in the 1941 film Buck Privates, marking the first starring roles for Bud Abbott and Lou Costello. The trio's popularity soared, leading to a sequel, the 1942 all-star Universal musical Private Buckaroo. In the world of entertainment, Patty's contribution to the success of the Andrews sisters was undeniable. Her lead vocals and the trio's harmonious blend resonated with audiences, making them a notable force in wartime musical culture. This period saw a surge in their popularity, with their appearances becoming widely cherished. Her role in shaping the musical landscape during World War II is a testament to her talent and the lasting impact of the Andrews sisters. Their performance of Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy remains an enduring part of the era's cultural fabric etched in the annals of history.
The Andrews sisters trio, comprising Laverne, Maxine, and the youngest, Patty, follow with the same order in life as in birth and death. Laverne passed away from cancer at 55 in 1967, Maxine from a heart attack at 79 in 1995, and Patty from natural causes at 94 in 2013. During their pinnacle, they claimed the title of the best-selling vocal trio in history. Debate exists over whether they still hold this record or if the 1960s Motown trio, the Supremes, surpassed their sales. In the throes of World War II, they embodied the American war effort. Post-war, they conveyed the war's end to 5,000 Gs in Italy before their deployment to the Pacific, reading an emotional announcement provided by the troops' commanding officer. A wartime musical force, they left an enduring mark on history, and their record as the top-selling vocal trio remains a topic of discussion in the world of music. Born to a Greek father, Peter, and a Norwegian mother, Olga, Patty Andrews, played a pivotal role in the Andrews Sisters, a celebrated World War II singing trio. She showcased her vocal prowess as the lead blonde in the group, leaving an indelible mark on wartime music. Their iconic performance of Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy in the 1941 film Buck Privates propelled them to stardom, making them a notable force in the musical landscape of that era. Following the war, the trio faced challenges. Patty's first husband, Agent Martin Melcher, left her for singer Doris Day, eventually causing financial ruin before his death in 1968. However, her second marriage to the group's pianist, Wally Weschler, endured for over 58 years, bringing her stability and happiness. Their journey took a turn in 1975 when an ugly dispute over money led to the closure of their Broadway show, marking the last time they sang together. A national tour was canceled, and they pursued solo careers for the next two decades, remaining estranged even up to Maxine Andrews' death in 1995. Patty's personal connections also included a friendship with Alan Eichler. Despite the trials and estrangements, her life unfolded with resilience, marked by the highs of musical success and the lows of personal challenges. Her enduring legacy remains woven into the fabric of American musical history. At 14, she began singing with her sisters, launching a musical journey that found success in 1938 with the Decca record Bay Mir Bis Du Scone. The flip side nice work, if you can get it, didn't quite take off. The trio, junior high dropouts facing family challenges, hit the road, performing in vaudeville and town halls. Despite their humble beginnings, they earned a Hollywood Walk of Fame star at 6834 Hollywood Boulevard for recording. The Andrews Sisters trio, of which she was a key part, faced ups and downs. Awarded for their recording achievements, the trio's journey started after her family encountered financial setbacks. Patty Andrews, born to a Greek father, Peter, and a Norwegian mother, Olga, played a vital role in the renowned World War II singing trio, the Andrews Sisters. As the youngest and lead blonde member, she contributed significantly to their success during the wartime era. The trio, comprising Laverne, Maxine, and Patty, marked their presence in history with 19 gold records, numerous top 10 singles, and record sales approaching 100 million. Despite facing challenges, they claimed the title of the best-selling vocal trio in history during their pinnacle. In terms of family, Patty and her sisters, though having children, chose adoption. Maxine adopted a daughter, Aletta Ann, and a son, Peter, while Patty welcomed her daughter, Pam Dubois, into the family. 1973 brought a resurgence of popularity for Patty and Maxine after Betty Midler's hit version of their signature song, Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy. The sisters then starred together on Broadway in the World War II musical Over Here in March 1974. Despite its success, a salary dispute led to the closure of the show in 1975, marking the last time they performed together. Their relationship faced a two-decade falling out, with only two encounters post the show's run. In 1982, when Maxine suffered a heart attack, Patty went to her side. Their second meeting occurred in 1987 during the Hollywood Walk of Fame ceremony. Patty believed Maxine's long-standing jealousy was the primary reason for their disconnect. Patty Andrews' life, marked by musical success and personal challenges, remains woven into the fabric of American musical history. The enduring legacy of the Andrews sisters and Patty's individual journey is a testament to their impact on the wartime musical culture.
In the 1974 Broadway production of Over Here, Patty Andrews, alongside her sister Maxine, shared the stage with budding talents making their Broadway debuts. The cast included Anne Ranking, Marilou Henner, Treat Williams, and John Travolta. They joined the Andrews sisters in a musical that marked a significant moment in their careers. The production, featuring a mix of seasoned and fresh faces, brought a dynamic energy to the stage, adding a layer of excitement for both the audience and the performers themselves. As seasoned entertainers, the Andrews sisters collaborated with these emerging stars, contributing to the vibrancy of the show. The blend of experienced and novice performers created a unique dynamic on stage, showcasing the diversity of talent within the cast. The inclusion of fresh faces hinted at the evolving landscape of Broadway, with these young performers making their mark alongside the Andrews sisters. This collaboration in Over Here became a notable chapter in the careers of Anne Ranking, Marilou Henner, Treat Williams, and John Travolta, as they ventured into the world of Broadway under the guidance of seasoned artists. The production served as a platform for these newcomers to showcase their talents and make a lasting impression on the Broadway stage. And that's the scoop on the 1974 Broadway production of Over Here, where seasoned performers and Broadway newcomers shared the stage, creating a memorable and dynamic theatrical experience. Born to a Greek father and Norwegian mother, Patty Andrews played a pivotal role in the Andrews Sisters, a celebrated World War II singing trio. As the youngest and lead blonde member, she contributed significantly to their success during the wartime era. The trio, comprising Laverne, Maxine, and Patty, marked their presence in history with 19 gold records, numerous top 10 singles, and record sales approaching 100 million. Despite facing challenges, they claimed the title of the best-selling vocal trio in history during their pinnacle. In the post-war years, she faced personal challenges, including financial turmoil caused by her first husband, Martin Melcher, who left her for singer Doris Day. However, her second marriage to the group's pianist, Wally Weschler, endured for over 58 years, bringing stability and happiness. Their journey took a turn in 1975 when an ugly dispute over money led to the closure of their Broadway show, marking the last time they sang together. A national tour was canceled, and they pursued solo careers for the next two decades, remaining estranged even up to Maxine Andrews' death in 1995. Her personal connections also included a friendship with Alan Eichler. Despite the trials and estrangements, her life unfolded with resilience, marked by the highs of musical success and the lows of personal challenges. Her enduring legacy remains woven into the fabric of American musical history.